Okay, so here's something I haven't done in a while, that being versus match with a twist. Now, versus match with a twist for any newcomers on the channel. Basically, versus match with a twist is where I take. It's kind of like a voting thing where you guys decide on who would be best in this aspect. And I've got a very unique question for versus match with a twist uh, on this one. And this is, let's say. Do Kent Nelson was retiring as Dr. Fate, and instead of passing it on to, like, uh, Hector Hall or the few other uh, Fates that have been, you know, the other original Fates, let's say he passed it on to another magical DC being. Now, there are only a few people that I could see Fate actually being like, you know what, I could see, you know, you could be worthy enough to we uh, wield the helm of Nabu. So... The question is, so I've leveled it down to only four characters that I could actually see Fate being like, okay, I trust you enough um, to become the next, you know, to basically become the next Lord of Order. So, <clears throat> Doctor, um, so basically this is a hypothetical question, and as always the rules are for these questions is please only vote for one of these four characters you see here, and please know this or that. Uh, not to be a jerk, it just helps out with the voting process. So please only one of only these four characters. And of course, you can see right here, Zatanna. I could definitely see Zatanna as, a, you know, the next Doctor Fate. I could see her uh, being handed the helmet and to put it on. And, because let's face it, her magic is very powerful. A lot of people seem to forget that even Fate has said that her magic is almost on par with uh, his. So I could definitely see him be coming up to, Fate, uh, to Zatanna and be like, here... You know, I'm getting too old, and I want you to put on the helmet of fate and be and basically become the next Lord of Order and protect Earth on the on the magical plane. I can definitely see that him going to Satana. She's very smart. She's uh, she's very clever, and her magic is very powerful. And added on to that, with the magic she wields already, to the magic she has already, added to the magic that would just be amplified by the helmet of fate. Yeah, she'd be pretty damn powerful. Next up is Raven. Now, Raven is also another powerful magic, but also brings, you know, telepathic abilities as well. Again, this is a character that I, um, that I could definitely see another character that Faith would have a lot of, uh, uh Fate would have a lot of faith in to give to, uh, to give her the Helmet of Fate and take on the responsibility of being the next Doctor Fate. It would be very interesting to see her kind of evolve from basically a child of chaos, uh, her father Trigon, to become a Lord of Order. And I think she would definitely take that uh, that uh, that responsibility very seriously. I think, and also, you know, she's also another powerful sorceress. Uh, <laughs> so it would be very cool to see her uh, her magic amplified as you know the next Doctor, as basically Doctor Fate. And yeah. <laughs> There you go, so Raven's another one. Following that is John Constantine. Now Constantine have been has been both friends and kind of, you know, locking heads with fate for a long time, but he has said that he trusts fate in some aspects. I could again, um, I could see Constantine being very being out of the four, he's the one that would be the most reluctant to take on the role of Doctor Fate. And he would be a much uh much more brutal fate as well. He would be a much more brutal Dr. Fate. <laughs> He's also the only male of these four, but again, these would be people that I think fate would look at and be like, these would be the last, uh, you know, the last finalists to possibly become the next Dr. Fate. Again, um, Constantine would make a very interesting Lord of Order because he doesn't do things by the book. And I think that would be kind of interesting to see how, because he is a very chaotic person in his own right, so I think it would be interesting to see how he would kind of delve with and mesh with uh, the spirit of Nabu and kind and uh, basically I say basically a lot I know this and I've, I've suddenly come to terms with that so yeah anyway but he can I could see him clashing with it as well and being a very unique fate more probably his own fate a little like I said a little more brutal a little more less a little less forgiving and just kind of shanking on his ability, you know, responsibilities here and there. But when it comes down to it, I think he would, uh, he would definitely save the, you know, the, you know, the physical existence from any magical threat when the chips are down. So yeah. And finally is Madame Xanadu. Now Madame Xanadu has been another uh, close ally of Doctor Fate. She, she has been a great ally to him uh, through thick and thin, uh, usually predicting a. a, a uh, future events and calling out to fate and aiding him in those 
kind of endeavor. So I could be this could be another person that I could see fate reach out to and be like, look, I'm looking for another, you know, someone to take my place, and I'm thinking you could do it. So yeah, definitely Madame Xanadu would be up there. So there you go, guys. Out of these four characters, which of one of these four, and please only pick from one of these four, and just please know this or that as well with this voting, which do you think you could see hypothetically becoming the next Doctor Fate? This is a really interesting one. There are a few other characters I want, um, I thought about, but then I was like, eh, I think these would be the ones Fate, uh, out of these four, one of these four would be the one Fate might be would allow to become the next Doctor Fate. So I'm really curious to see who you guys pick out of these four. Who do you think would make a cool uh, replacement as, you know, Fate after Kent Nelson? So yeah, uh, once again, guys, uh, hope you all enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see who you guys think would make a great Doctor Fate. Later.